Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First thing first, thanks to you for subscribing my channel. Of course, because of you I can survive this pandemic even by a little bit struggling. And yes, once again, I said thanks to you. So anyway, today I gonna talk about why you should not culturing mosquito larvae. Before into the topic, you can watch my video about culturing mosquito larvae. I already put the link in the description below. If you live in tropical island, I think it's already a rainy season because at my place almost rain every day. So it's pretty easy to start culturing mosquito. You should check the video on the description below. If you want to culture it, it's your consequences. I just saw how easy it is to culture mosquito larvae. And you can blame me because what you do. Lots of people been asking why I do culturing mosquito larvae. And is that dangerous to culturing that such a creature? The answer is very simple. I culture it for feeding my fish and yes it's very dangerous I bet most of you already know it actually I culture it only a couple of times only to show you how easy it is and yes mosquito larvae is not the primary source of food for my fish I still prefer Black food or dried food, and sometimes bloodworm or brain shrimp. That type of food is really easy to come by and no need to extra time to take care of it. First things, let's talk about the benefit of culturing mosquito larvae. Number one, it's easy. Of course it is. You just need to put dirty water outside wipe them to lay eggs, move the eggs into the container, feed them and harvest them. Easy right? Number two, it's cleaner. Yes, it's cleaner than other kind of live food for your fish. Why? Because you don't need to separate them with their egg cell like brain shrimp do and it's very clean from disease from the fish not like bloodworm and to be fake worm do bloodworm and to be fake worm tend to carry disease because sometimes they got it from the wild and bloodworm is a little bit safer than to be fake worm in my experience so far number three it's unlimited even if you kill all the larvae and over harvest, the population always the same. Maybe it will decrease a little bit, but never get into zero. Number four, it's easy to store. After you harvest the larvae, you can put it into the freezer to preserve, just like frozen bloodworm that you commonly bought at the store. Now we talk about the downside of it. Number one, it's carrying disease for human. Yeah, you already know it. Let's move to the next number. Number two, it's illegal. And yes, you can get jailed. Make sure you check your local regulation. Most of the law are forbid to culture in mosquito larvae, so it's all your consequences. Number three, it's actually not that easy. Why? Because not only it's illegal on the most country, and you need extra time and effort to culturing the larvae, 
for example if you don't care and forget to harvest the larvae on time they become mosquito and cause local problem number four is dangerous of course it is you can get into jail because of it and you can cause local pandemic it's happened in my village too already got fogging twice because of dingo problem yeah I got sick too at least you can learn from my mistake and yeah mosquito larvae is the best food for your fish but still it's very dangerous to come by for me I rather feed my fish with anything instead of mosquito larvae you can find lots brand of fish food out there with low price and I'm sure you can afford it well this is the end of the video thanks for watch and see ya